So on the stump dressing, there's several ways to do this. The wrong way would be is if they can't go pee pee, okay? If there's uneven pressure across the incision, okay? If they can't use the bedpan, okay? And you don't want any like gathered wrinkles like that, okay? Does that make sense? So I say there's several ways to do it. There, yet the one way is in the diagram that's in the course I posted last night. That's one way. But the way I like to do it, and this is just the way I've always done it, is different. So I will show you how that is. For the purpose of the practicum, you will remove the last person's dressing because you are assessing the dressing. Itself. And you know, this isn't a realistic person, so <laughs> probably couldn't really lift that person up to reach underneath them. You'd usually have a partner for a real person because there's a lot of turning involved. So as I unwrap this, if you notice, it's kind of like, I always call it a reverse four because of the way it's angled. <laughs> so you're assessing the dressing itself to, that it's clean, dry, and intact. And if there's no dressing, then just know that you'll probably need to put an ABD pad on that. Hopefully they handle the wrappings. Okay. So you can either, for this method, you can either start in the front, come around to the back, and you want to get your tension across that middle part of it, and then grab it in the back. Someone roll the shoulders. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just angling it. You want a smooth fold, okay, and then coming back around. And then this will grab the Velcro, and then you're coming back at somewhat of an angle to anchor that bottom. So before you let go, you're anchoring it with this wrap. As soon as you get that anchored, you can pull this hand out, okay? And then you can get that angle. So we're almost done. We only have one side left to do. Whereas with the, where you start anchoring at the waist, like the diagram shows, then it's a little bit hard to get both sides without it sliding off. Come around. So this is why it's called a figure eight, because basically you go and make it eight. And the other thing you want to make sure is you're not putting the scratchy part of the Velcro against the skin. Okay. You don't want it too tight that it's causing pressure. But you want nice, even pressure across that incision because we're wanting to shape that so that whenever it heals, then they can get their orthotics, get fitted for their orthotics and prosthetic. Okay? And that's pretty much it. Okay. Thank you.